Oh, yes. Well, unfortunately, I found my way around YouTube. And, yeah, so bite me, YouTube. Yeah. Ha. Anyway. <laughs> okay, speaking of YouTube and clips and things like that, there's your segue. Go for it. Wow. That was, that was really, really good. It was so good it caught me off guard. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so, um, okay. <clears throat> for some of you, uh, this will hit kind of close to home. It definitely did for me. Um, you've probably all heard this by now, but that's okay. A 14-year-old boy in Buffalo, New York, um, committed suicide not that long ago. Actually, the article's from September 22nd. Police have opened a criminal investigation in the suicide death of Buffalo, New York, 14-year-old Jamie Rodemeyer, who was bullied online with gay slurs for more than a year. The teen's parents, friends, and even Lady Gaga, who was his idol, have expressed outrage about what they say was relentless torment on social networking websites. The Amherst Police Department's Special Victims Unit has said it will determine whether a chart Wait, whether to charge some students with harassment, cyber harassment, or hate crimes. Police said three students in particular might have been involved. Jamie was a student at high middle school. Jamie had just started his freshman year at Williamsville North High School. Both Amherst and Williamsville are just outside Buffalo. But the bullying had begun during middle school, according to his parents. He had told his family and friends that he had endured hateful comments in school and online, mostly related to his sexual orientation. Jamie was found dead outside his home Sunday morning, but Amherst police would not release any details on how he killed himself, which is quite good, I think. Mm -hmm. That's really a detail that we don't need to know. No, and the people that, forced, or that pushed him into that type of decision don't need to know that. Exactly. The Special Victims Unit is looking into the circumstances prior to his death, Captain Michael Kemaleri said. We are not sure if there if anything criminal or not. No bullying laws exist in New York State, according to Camilleri, so police would have to determine whether aggravated harassment charges fit this case. Whether suspects would be tried to juvenile court would depend on whether the alleged bully was 16 or older. Police said they have spoken with Williamsville School Superintendent Scott G. Oh dear. Martzloff. Mm. Who was pledged who has pledged the district's corporate cooperation. Sorry. We've heard that there were some specific students, an identifiable group of students that had specifically targeted Jamie or had been picking on him for a period of time, Police Chief John K. Askey told the Buffalo News. C. Jamie sent out many signals on social networking sites. What? That was a C, not a K. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Jamie sent out many signals on social networking sites that he was struggling with his sexuality, even though he encouraged others on the It Gets Better Project website, YouTube, to fight off the bullies. He killed himself this weekend after posting an online farewell. In her work with teens in crisis, McGinnis, what is the deal? <laughs> There's... Remember Did I they take of... every strange name in New York and throw it into this article? Mm-hmm. Much. Anyway, McGinnis does not recommend covertly monitoring a child's social networking account, but instead establishing a trust, trust and open lines of communication to gain a welcome invitation. Parents should pay attention to what's going on in their kids' lives and what is important to them, she said. They should maybe structure a day to ask detailed questions of the child. What's going on? What are they excited about? What are they afraid about? Who is bugging you and who did you tell? Establish trust, listening, accepting everything, excuse me, accepting everything they say and not judging them. Let them share their story. For help, go to the American National Suicide Prevention Lifeline or call 1-800-273-TALK. <coughs> so I guess we'll just post all the rest of the numbers. Yep. Like now. <laughs> yep. We'll do that right now. So there's American ones and I'll post the Australian ones. So. Yep. Yes. If you know anyone who's feeling like they're at the end of their rope, go and 
get them to call one of these numbers, go and talk to someone, you know. There is definitely no shame in admitting that you have a problem. Well, it's better to admit you have a problem than to deprive people of, of your being. Definitely. I mean, you know, we do a lot of joking around on this show and all this, but, you know, the fact is we both have a past. We both have a dark past, really. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what kind of people would we be if we didn't take our experiences and help people? Pretty much. I mean, who knows? There might be someone listening right now who could use, you know, a good piece of advice or something, you know? Yeah, you know, and the It Gets Better program is excellent. Yes, um, I think it's, it's or it gets better dot org. Um, you can sign on, pledge to help stop bullying. Uh, granted, this website is specifically aimed at the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender community, but... Bullying is a problem no matter what orientation you are. It is. And, you know, I mean, I'm not gay, lesbian, bi, or transsexual, but, you know, I don't exactly Darn. look... I don't exactly look normal, and that was in inverted commas, just in case you all couldn't see me. You know, it's radio. <laughs> so, you know, I got picked on pretty much most of the way through school. Mm -hmm. And... You know, we did go and tell people, me, my mom, stuff like that. You know, we would tell. And the principal turned around to me one time and said, well, you just need to try harder to fit in. And I'm like, well, and that's, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, and that's the thing. If you are not, and I don't know if it's just a United States thing. It may be a worldwide thing. I'm going to assume it is. But especially in, like college towns and things like this where like football or basketball, you know, any kind of sports thing, if you're not part of that or you're not the pretty, preppy, you know, perfect, na perfect nails, perfect hair, so on and so forth, if you are anything outside of that loop, then they just don't care. No, they do that in Australia too. It's awful. It doesn't matter if you are gothic or or punk, or gay, or lesbian, or even if you if you play sports and you're just you know kind of the runt of the bunch, it doesn't matter. Bullying is a problem, and when it gets to the point that someone is going to kill themselves, something needs to be done. This is a 14 year old boy. And what irritates me the most is what was that thing? New York has no bullying laws. Since when? As far as I knew, you know, it was a global thing. Bullying is not okay. It's because this kid wasn't, I mean, don't take this the wrong way, but in the eyes of major society, he wasn't anything. You know, he didn't have a strong name. He didn't have money. He didn't, you know, he was gay. Therefore, who cares if someone bullies a gay boy? Hmm. That's how society looks at it, and that's just not right. And I've heard people – I've talked about this a lot because, like I said, this hits really close to home, and in a minute, I'll explain why. <clears throat> and hopefully I can get through it without crying. Mm. But, um, <laughs> you know, I've heard people say, well, bullying is just a part of life. You know, that may be true, but back in you – know, even the 80s, the 90s, and all this, internet did not play that big of a part. You, know, you could go to school, get bullied, and then go hang out with your friends, not worry about it, come home, do your homework, blah, 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 and you didn't have to worry about it. Now the stuff follows you home. It follows you wherever you go, especially if you've got the internet on your phone. Mm -hmm. So, you, so know, you don't get a break. You, know, you used to get a break from it. Now you don't. Now people that you don't even know you know, from everywhere, could say whatever they want just for the sake of being hateful. You know, what, what, what does it take? They go and they put a page on Facebook and, you know, then you've got the whole bunch of people going, yeah, 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 agree, agree, nastiness, nastiness, bullying, bullying, bullying. And it's really hard to have a page taken down from Facebook. Mm-hmm. 
Or you you remember back years and years ago when we actually were named on what was it? Encyclopedia Dramatica. That whole site is basically one big bullying thing and they hide behind the First Amendment. First yep. Amendment? Freedom of speech, yeah. Or whatever the amendment is. But yeah. How dare they? And I mean, you know, sometimes it is funny, and a lot of the things that they post on there can be somewhat true, but that's still hurtful. And, oh, I don't know, I just think it's so strange, because New York has just allowed gay marriage. Exactly. You know, why would it be okay for someone who is now allowed to be married to be bullied? That's a hate crime. These kids should be thrown away you know, into the system and have the key accidentally or purposely lost. And it shouldn't be about, you know, they, they started putting down hate crime laws. It shouldn't be about whether or not you're black or whether or not you're Mexican or whether it, there should not be a limit. If you are bullied, then it should be automatically a hate crime, no matter who you are, where you grew up, who you grew up with or who you want to marry. And you know what really made me sick about this one? When they put it on the TV yesterday here, because, you know, it is in Australia now, it has been mentioned, uh, they had some interview from one of the morning TV shows in America with the parents of this young man. And they said that they'd sent their daughter to her homecoming dance at the school and they put a Lady Gaga song on, you know, for the dance. And all of this kid's friends are like, yay, you know, good on you, but, you know, we're sad you're gone, but we're happy that you had the strength to at least help others while you were there. And then all of a sudden, all the people that had been bullying him started chanting back, you know, he deserved it, stupid faggot, or whatever word they were using. And, you know, I'm thinking, why didn't anybody step in and expel those children immediately? Mm Mm-hmm. You know, you want to act stupid, you don't get an education as far as I'm concerned. Go away. If you're going to be stupid, you're going to be stupid for the rest of your life. Ignorance is not blissful. It just means you're an idiot. Exactly. But um, one of the things that really got me, I think this one hit the hardest because I've been there, was um, there was a post. um, He said, and this was like a few days before he actually killed himself. It said... I've reached out to everyone to try and make this stop. What do I have to do to make this go away? And a few days later, he killed himself. And now people are listening. Yeah. Why couldn't they have listened? There are tribute sites going up. There are, I mean, if you go to the It Gets Better website, you can see so many of them. So many of the YouTube videos now say, rest in peace, Jamie Rodemeyer. Why didn't something like this happen before he died? Yeah. You know, and we've all had that feeling where we are completely alone. Mm-hmm. 